over there. And we're joined by D Delaney, a corner for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And D, I want to take you back. All right. So it's a big game, prime time. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Chicago Bears. We got the greatest of all time, Tom Brady, against the young gunslinger, Justin Fields from the Ohio State University. Super high draft pick. Number two overall recruit coming out of high school. It's passing of the torch, the goat to the new young gun. Brady takes an early 7-0 lead. Fields has a good drive going. It's looking like it's going to be one of those classic shootouts. And then what do you know? The man on the screen right in there steps in front of a pass. Uh, Justin Fields through, picks it off, big return, turns the game completely, ends up being a huge blowout. Walk us through that pick. How did it feel to intercept Fields? Talk, just talk about that play. Uh, I mean, it felt good. You know, it's kind of like a broken play. He was scrambling around. Coach Bull always told us that he was like, I'm going to have to stick to your guy because he's going to scramble. You know, once he starts scrambling, you want to stick to your man. And that kind of what happened. He, it happened just how Coach Bull said it was going to happen. He scrambled to his right. And once he goes to the right, he likes to throw the ball down the field. And once, once I seen him scramble to the right, I was like, oh, man, I got to get on somebody. I got to get on somebody. And then he ended up throwing it right to the person that I was on. And it was just so crazy, man. And also... Richard Sherman, he was telling me, like, man, just stay calm. You know, it's going to come to you. going to get you one. So, like, he was kind of coaching me up all week about it. And, I mean, once once it happened, I was happy, man. It felt good to get my first NFL interception. No, so, no, Sherman was out that game, right? That's why you were starting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so basically, you – what I'm going to what I'm gonna guarantee here, and this may not have actually happened. You may not be able to say mm-hmm. this, but you outplayed Sherman all week in practice – Showing him <laughs> had a great day of practice. Like, like just blew Sherman out of the water. He's like, look, man, I can't play. This D Delaney guy's too good. You gotta get him out there. And you showed up, man. Great, great yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, it felt pretty good to get that. Yeah, go ahead, Miles. I was gonna say, well, speaking of practice and speaking of interceptions, and D, I wanna assure you, we are not a big uh YouTube show podcast. Mm-hmm. So Brady will never see this. But <laughs> have you ever gotten to pick off Tom in practice? Never. Never Have you gotten close. Nah, so uh, like here, we don't really. I mean, you can be close to the ball, but they don't really want you to pick the ball and intercept the ball from the offense. You know, they're trying to, I guess, they're trying to get their timing down with the quarterback and receiver. So it's more about the offense than the defense. Yeah, get just yeah. one. They got like just one. Yeah. <laughs> You ever sit there like like you're in off coverage a little bit and it's like a slant or an out right in front of you and you're like sitting there's like man I and you like you know you let them catch it whatever in the back of your mind you're like I totally could have picked that does that ever oh, yeah. happen Yeah definitely a couple of times you know a lot of us a lot of us players actually do that but it's like you know it's more about Brady getting his groove and everything back so you don't really think too much about it cuz you know he's a totally How does Brady kind of needs his groove back like it's he's had his after groove this, for 20 after this long <laughs> I mean, you know, because you have the all season and just getting back with the timing and receivers, different receivers, you know. That's the difference between NFL and college. NFL is more about timing, and then college is more about just, just throwing the ball, really. How, how do you feel like going against those guys, those Tampa receivers? Obviously, there's some studs there, right? You know, mm-hmm. you know, Mike Evans, uh, Godwin, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the speed star. Scotty Miller. His, Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller. I like the guy from Michigan, Bateman, too. I mean, he doesn't oh, yeah, oh, yeah. think a lot of play time, but I think he was really good in college. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a – star-studded group with a lot of talent. What's it like going mm-hmm. up against those guys in Tampa? It's a grind. I mean, last year was a grind each and every day because, you, like you say, you're going against good talent. So when we get out there on Sunday, it's like we already go, we already win against good talent all week. So these guys, you know, in our mind, we think they're not better than what we go against each and every day at practice. And, I mean, you know, going against Tom Brady and the good receivers, yeah. that's, that's a pretty good matchup. Does, does that make it give you some confidence when you're able to have a good practice against – you know, Tom Brady, and you're like, hey, listen, I had a good day against Brady. I mean, throw whoever out there on the other side. Definitely. That's one thing I coach, Coach Bowles, I would tell them, like, y'all going against real good uh, receivers and a, a great quarterback. So, I mean, if that's not giving you confidence, I don't understand what, what else will. Yeah. Go ahead, Mice. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, Tampa seems like uh, the, what people have been doing lately. They've been building these superstar teams on offense and defensive side of the ball what's it like to play with so many excellent players on the defensive the b- side of the ball does that build like you know a little bit of extra uh excitement being on the field with all these guys who are like legends of the game in that era uh definitely i definitely agree i was just talking to some of my team i was like man you know we actually got the chance to play with hall of famers you know so at, 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 in this moment it's like why not compete and show these guys that I'm just as good as them, you know, being around like uh, Levante, David, yeah. Devin White, those type of guys, you know, they're, they're going to eventually be Hall of Famers. 
they're young, but they still be Hall of Famers. Like, I want to show the guy that I'm, I'm able to play just like them.